All right, today we are going to do some things with line plots. You're going to learn how you can make and interpret line plots with fractional data. So, does anybody even remember what a line plot is? I don't see very many hands. So, data shows the lengths of the buttons in Jen's collection. You can see a picture of buttons out here. For an art project, she wants to know how many buttons are longer than one-fourth inch. So we are going to use the line plot in order to do this, okay? A line plot is a graph that shows the frequency of data along a number line. Frequency meaning how many times do you see a specific number or fraction, all right? Take a look at the lengths of the buttons in her collection there in the box. Now, do you see that they do not line these up in order that go together? They have one-fourth, and then three-fourths, and then they have one-fourth again. They have four-fourths, they have one-fourth again. They have four-fourths again. So they're not lining them up, okay? That's where you come in. We're going to make a line plot to show the data from here. So make sure you understand where we're getting it. Step one is to order the data from least to greatest length and complete the tally table. So as always, we're going to put them in order from least to greatest. So what am I going to start with? Looking at my fractions up there, what's my least number that I have, Don Maurice? One fourth. And do I only have it one time? I have it how many times? Three times. So I'm going to put one fourth with a comma, one fourth with a comma, and one fourth with a comma. Then I'm going to make three tally marks in the tally table. What are you searching for? Well, I gave you one, so you should have one. And we haven't written anything, so I'm not quite sure why you need an eraser already. So you have three one-fourths, and you need to put three tallies in the box to go with one-fourth. Now, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and cross off the ones we've used up here so we can see what's left. What am I going to write next on the line if I'm going from least to greatest? Morgan? Three fourths. So you're going to put a comma and you're going to write three fourths. Then how many tallies am I putting in the table? One. What's left? Four fourths. How many times is it there? Two times. So you will write it two times on the line. And how many tallies am I putting in the table? Two tallies. So that was all step number one. You're putting them in order from least to greatest and telling me how many there are in a tally table. Okay, so we see that there are three one-fourths, there's one three-fourths, and there's two four-fourths. So now, step two says to label the fraction lengths on the number line below from the least value of the data to the greatest. So, what's the least? The one least fourth. amount was one fourth, so we're going to put it here. And then the next. But what should be in between one fourth and three fourths? Two fourths. Even though we don't have one of those, do we still need to go in order? Yes. Number lines are going to go in order by whatever you're counting by. So here we're counting by fourths. What comes after two fourths? Three fourths. And then four fourths. So just because we didn't have a two fourths doesn't mean we just don't do it. Okay? We need to make sure we're counting by fourths on our line plot so it has to be there also. Read step three with me. Plot an X above the number line for each data point. Write a title for the line plot. So let's do the first part of it first. We're going to plot an X above the number line for each data point. So how many fourths did we have? So you're going to make how many X's? Three. Put them on top of each other. Going up. That's how you're going to make a line plot. Okay, did we have any two fourths? So you just leave it blank. What about three fourths? One, so you'll make one X and four fourths. So you'll make two X's on top of each other. 
Now, it says to write a title for the line plot. Well, what are we showing on our line plot? Cheyenne, what are we showing? But are we just showing the buttons or are we showing a specific thing of the buttons? What did it say up there? Intent it already has told us in a couple of different places up there. Kenzie, what does it say? The length of them. And actually, what's right here in this box is probably what we should write as our title. It is measuring the lengths of the buttons that are in Jen's collection, and it happens to be in what? In inches. So you're going to write length of buttons in Jen's collection. And in parentheses, you're going to put in inches. It would probably be a good idea to write out inches because if you don't, it will be in and then the abbreviation inches, which is still an in period. Now, as we look at this, the question we had was she wants to know how many buttons are longer than one fourth inch. So look at your line plot. How many of them are longer than one fourth inch? If it says longer, can I count the one fourth inches? No. So how many there on our line plot are longer than that, Aiden? Three. So be careful with your words. What is it asking of me? It didn't want us to count the one fourth. It wanted to know how many were longer than that. Does everybody understand how we got three? Does everybody see how we did a line plot and used a tally table and titled it? because these are all things that you will need to be able to do. All right, let's answer a couple more questions at the bottom. How many buttons are in Jen's collection? Thank you for not raising your hand. How many total buttons are there, class? Six. And then it asks, what is the difference in length between the longest button and the shortest button in Jen's collection? It wants to know the difference in the length. So what was the longest? The longest. Four-fourths. And the shortest? One-fourth. So if I want to find a difference, what do I do with those? Subtract them. And when I do that, I'm going to get three-fourths. So anytime you're trying to find a difference, you need to make sure you are subtracting. So your answer to this one is three-fourths. Because we took the longest, which was four-fourth, subtracted it from the shortest, which was one-fourth, and we get three-fourths. And I can't leave it at three-fourths because it asks me what? In length. So what is our length in? Inches. And now you can abbreviate there when you write the answer. Probably should have put buttons on this also because it says right here how many buttons. It's not a bad thing, guys, to put your labels. If you always do it, then it'll be something that you won't have to worry about forgetting. Right? Flip the page when you have that. We're going to have another example. Does everybody understand how we did the buttons? I hope so. Now we're going to discuss some things with Mrs. Lee, Ms. Lee's class. Some of them walk to school. The data shows the distances these students walk. What distance do most students walk? There's a question this time, so we will go ahead and highlight it. What distance do most is going to be your keyword here, right? So we're going to make a line plot to show our data. And our data happens to be over here in this box. Is this going to be the same steps we just took? Yeah, it sure is. So we're going to order the data in the box from least to greatest distance and complete the tally table. So when you're ordering them, you always need to complete the tally table at that time. Make sense? All right, so let's take a look at these. Which one is my least distance out of all of that? Cheyenne? And do I see one one-fourth or do I see more than that? Okay, so I want to write one-fourth with a comma, one-fourth twice. I'm going to 
cross that off here. Now, do you notice that they didn't put anything in this tally table? So it's our job to do that. So what was what the one we just said? So we probably ought to put it in the tally table. How many do we have? Two. Two. All right, look at the distances that are left. Which is the least of these that are left? One half. How many times do I have it? Four times. Some of you need to wake up this morning. So I'm going to write one half four times. That means I'm going to put what in the tally table? One half, and I'm going to have how many tallies for it? Four. So that leaves me with only one distance left, which is three fourths. Does it go after a half? Yes, put it in the tally table. How many tallies? One. Sometimes it probably wasn't a bad idea to go back and count how many you had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you have seven here and make sure your tallies add up to seven. Okay? Because if you do something wrong, then when you start answering questions, they're all probably going to be wrong. Okay? So make sure that you're correct when you do your tallies and put them in least to greatest so that you don't mess up something down the road. So step two, labeling the fraction links on the number line below, from least value of the data to the greatest value. So what am I putting first? One fourth. Then what goes next? One half, which is the same thing as what? Two fourths. So if I was in fourths, this would be two fourths, which is also equal to uh, half. You could have put two fourths there as well, as long as you realize that two fourths is the same thing as in half. What goes on my last line? Three fourths. All right, now we're going to do step three. Plot an X above the number line for each data point. So how many one fourths did we have? Two. How many halves? Four. And how many three fourths? One. And what do we think our title should be this time? Look at it and raise your hand to tell me instead of shouting out the answer, please. Logan, what should I have for my title? All right, and he got that from where, class? In the box that told us the distances, right? So, distance, students walk to school. And we want it in miles. Now to answer the last question, most students walk what? Which distance do most of the students walk? Bailey. A half a mile, because as you see in your line plot, does it have the most things up there? Yes, because it has a total of four. Everything else has less than that, right? So you will write a half a mile. Now, these next questions are going to make you think a little bit. Number three, how many more students walk a half a mile than a fourth of a mile to school? How many more students walk a half a mile than a fourth of a mile to school? Ian? Huh? Two more students. Because if you look, a half a mile has how many? Four. And a fourth of a mile has two. So it says how many more? So you are doing the difference, correct? So two more students. Four, what is the difference between the longest distance and the shortest distance that students walk? So I need to look at my longest and my shortest. And then what's my answer going to be? Okay, so I want to know the difference between those. Two fourths, and what do we also know that two fourths is? So two fourths or one half of a mile. 
Everybody understand that one?